Hello and welcome. I am the Scraptastic Crocheter and my name is Amanda. And as you might see here, I have another yarn haul. Um, this is Hobie. Um, if you have been here on my channel before, this is more or less the only place I buy my yarn. And yes, I did buy my yarn. It's not a sponsored video. It's my own uh, money. And this is a little bit of a last minute haul, kind of, as it was the last half an hour of the Black Friday slash Black Week haul or sale that they had. And I just couldn't help myself. I did buy some more yarn last minute and I'm gonna show you what I got so I'm just gonna move it to the side there and take the first thing out here I opened it just so that I wouldn't make too much noise let's keep it over there so it doesn't fall off my desk so here we have as you can see neutral colors and we have Friends Cotton, 8-4, cotton, uh, and this is color pack 1. So we have white and beiges, or like skin colored um, types of yarn. If you do uh, amigurumi, these are plenty of nice shades for skin tones. And then we have blacks and grays. And I felt like I needed to have some neutral colors because I didn't have any. Uh, I have plans to do stuff that does require black and white. So, yeah, I figured if I want to try and do like a face or something like that, that it would be nice to have basics. And they were cheap because, you know, Black Friday. So... Next, I'm just going to put my hand in here and see what I can find. We have Rainbow. I think it's... Is it called something Pyrite? I don't remember, but it's gorgeous. It's lilacs, light blue, green, yellow, orange, and almost a pinkish red. But it is a rainbow, a pastel rainbow. It's Cotton King's Sultan. Um, 100% cotton, 200 grams, 800 meters, and it's one of those four strands held together, not twisted together. So that's that. Gorgeous. Let's see what I can find here. Packing slip, don't need that one. Uh, here we go. Look at this. Look at the colors. This is a rainbow that just, it yelled. Peek me. Okay, it's gorgeous. And this is actually uh, Sultan Deluxe. So this is one of their more pricey yarns. It's the Deluxe Cake. It is 100 grams of, 100% uh, cotton, but it's 250 grams and it's approximately thousand meters so this is 50 grams more than the other one so that this is pricier than the other one is not only because of uh, that the strands are actually twisted together uh, of course that takes a little bit longer in the manufacturing process to twist the yarns together but also there is 50 grams more and 200 meters more so that is the difference. This is uh, color number 33, and I can add that the other one is color number 29. But look at these vibrant colors. Like, it's really, really red in the middle, and then we have the oranges and yellows, green, blue, and the purple. This is a bright, bright rainbow, and it's gorgeous. And you can tell that it's... A little bit bigger but this is also very tightly twisted very dense and compact and this is very squishy so 
it's not at all uh, as tightly twisted or like when they wind them up into these balls or cakes uh, they do leave more squishy wiggle room in these and it's really squishy and soft so I'm really liking that and you can see here we have a color change one strand of the four is changed and they do a little knot so you can see where one yellow is tied in with the green and here we have yellow transitioning over to blue yeah, we have a little bit of green to blue here and that's about what they look like in these cakes uh, you can cut the little leftovers and since it is um, only that particular strand that is um, being knotted all the other strands are running next to it it is a knot that is secure so you don't have to worry about like retying the knot it's just if it is a little bit of a extra hanging out you can cut it if it's bothering you or just leave it as it is these ones are longer than normal so I'm probably gonna cut them and usually they are more invisible so I got those two I'm just moving them to the side and let's see I know there's some there some smaller items I'm just gonna start with them I did get a candy I did not get a candy in my last order and I have heard speculations that they were out of candy because of massive Black Friday sales I don't know why not everyone's getting them I have not received candy in I don't know is it my last two orders now I have one so maybe they restocked on them I did get this um, large eye needle for being a Hobby Plus member, a uh, blunt tip. So this is my free gift, nice. And I did get an extra set of these Knit Pro T-pins for blocking. I already have one of these, but I realized that it's 50 in this, and uh, some of the items I want to block has more, um, you know, finer details I want to enhance with blocking so more needles is needed for that so that's why I got that okay this is the only item left in this bag so I'm just gonna move the bag away and look at this so here we have wheel of alpaca this is a new yarn to hobby they released this maybe a month or two ago and it is up alpaca it's let's see we're gonna get into color number three we have here we have all the information 80 percent acrylic 20 percent alpaca 250 grams and 940 meters so this is the same weight as the deluxe it's a little bit shorter than the deluxe it is thicker they classify this as a three weight the deluxe is a two weight but I just want to show you the difference in size of the cakes can you see this this is the cake I like these are my go-to case cakes because they're cheap and I like using um, the color changes with you know it's easy to work with the four strands together this is not something I normally buy since it is pricier. It's just, yeah, you know, it, but this, look at the size. Look at the size difference. If I put this on here, you can still see the light blue all around. And I'm not sure if you can tell the height difference, but you can still see almost half the label on this do you see that it's showing the head of the alpaca so this is humongous okay it's really squishy we have one that is starting with the white and it's going into a light blue and then a darker blue and then yet another darker blue 
and then we're ending up here on the outside with this uh, the darkest blue you can see it's fuzz there is some strands like if you pull them out the they are quite long and loose can you see that oh you can see with the purple background there it's long so this is the alpaca threads um i have not been working with alpaca before i know that i am sensitive and react to regular sheep wool so i wasn't sure if i was going to react to this um i'm i am so i'm trying to just touch the label at this point but i will be using this one i will be working it up and i will be um managing with doing this i'm most likely not going to order again but i'm glad i have tried it you know so it's really going to be nice to see how it works up and i i do uh, cope with the wool uh, if i take allergy meds at the same time so i try to do it in short intervals and you know not stress it too much if it's unbearable then i stop and you know it will have to wait so which is i would love to order more of these because it's really big squishy and i'm really thinking it's gonna work up pretty awesome um something i'm not seeing here is a center pull out tab we have uh, on the other ones no this one didn't have one actually they usually have a easy start maybe there is one hidden sometimes it's tucked in can't find one but we have one on this one so this is normally what they have on most of their yarns this easy start so i don't know if it fell off or if it got pushed in but i do know on this one um since i'm starting with the red it's probably going to be no wait i can feel it i can feel it it's here so it is there it was just hidden really good so let's see can we find one in here i think i'm feeling something yes it does have it uh, and this one has a hobby brand name printed and these ones have uh, the cotton kings printed stuff i actually need to check on these ones do they yeah they all have them i see them through here that is something I love with the, the hobby yarns that they have on most of the yarns, uh, at least their own like brands, they have the easy start. But this is just the final order that I made. And I couldn't, like I, I had to have that one. The price was too good to pass. This is a color that I've been eyeing for quite some time and I needed some basic stuff so this is basically just to get the free shipping and I know the free shipping to Sweden is different than um, further international distances so I know that um, I think it's about $70 for me to get free shipping and I think it's closer to $100 to get free shipping if you're further away Um not sure on that because I'm not sure on the exact exchange rates and such because um, I'm you know working in Swedish crowns when I'm on the Hobby website because um, I have the option to use Hobby.se which is the, the Swedish version which is really nice for me <laughs> um, but it's harder when I try to think shipping rates or you know prices in, in different um, other money you know so is there anything here that you would be interested in trying yourself have you tried any of these yarns or are you curious about the other yarns that i have previously bought what i've used them for or what i am going to make with the, them uh, you can please check out some of my other hobby unboxing videos because there is quite a few of them. Like this is the second Black Friday, Black Week uh, haul. I did uh, one much larger um, 
earlier and then yeah I've done plenty of these unboxings uh, this past year and if you don't want to talk about yarn maybe you want to see some more crochet related items because that's what I do I do crochet and I do yarn related content so please check out my other videos subscribe like give me a comment anything really and uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day Thank you and bye-bye.